Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mohamita and I talk about book reviews, productivity and self-development. Today I will talk about effective communication with a focus on listening skill. And I will make sure to share some important hacks to improve your listening skill and your communication style. Let's get started. There is a wonderful quote that says, communication is as much attitude as it is a technique. Your ability to communicate effectively is highly influenced by your capacity of understanding others, your attitude towards listening, and the commitment you show. So basically, how well you listen is what matters. Now I know listening is hard. It is more than just keeping your ears open. Let's say a friend brings a problem to you and asks you for help. In the beginning, you listen very carefully and attentively. But that is for a certain period of time before your mind starts wondering. For example, your friend has to say 100 words to share her feelings and experience. You listened till 40 words because you have figured out the problem and the whole thing by listening to the 40% of the story. Now at this point, you face either of these two situations. Number one, after listening to the 40% of the story, you start thinking about the solution instead of listening the full story. Number two, after listening to the 40% of the story, depending on the situation and importance, you start thinking about something else. Maybe about the work left on your desk, or a meeting scheduled for the next morning, or a promise that you have made to your partner. And after this point, you only hear the words. You are not actually listening. This happens because human minds are much more efficient and faster than anyone can talk. While someone is talking, your mind has a tendency to race ahead. And that is the reason that you complete their phrases in your mind long before they speak it out. In this process, sometimes you are correct and most of the times you are not. It means there are chances of misunderstanding. The activity of your brain racing ahead is normal. Now you may ask if this is normal and this is human nature, then what is the solution? Well, there are two. First, accept that this will happen. Second, take some steps to overcome or control this tendency. And how do you do that? By practice. In his book, The Power of a Positive Attitude, Roser Fritz shares some important steps to improve your listening skill. I will tell you the steps and how they can benefit you. Number one, listen to clarify. Of course, this is to avoid misunderstanding. It ensures that you receive the exact information or the idea mentioned by the speaker. It makes the explanation easier and faster to understand. So listen to clarify so that you do not miss out anything. Number two, listen to show understanding. Well, you may focus on the words show understanding. Well, there's a little difference between to understand and to show understanding. When I say to understand, it means this is up to you that you have understood. And when I say to show understanding, it means you are expressing. And by this way, you give some more confidence to the speaker. Let them know that you have the same sentiment and you appreciate their point of view before communicating. This helps you recognize where the person is coming from, what is their viewpoints and the emotion behind their message. So try to listen to show understanding. Number three, listen to get a feedback. Well, this is really, really important for your personal growth. By this, you assess yourself to see where you are and what is your position. And then only you can make changes accordingly. Well, these are the points that shows why to listen. Now I will tell you how to listen in six steps. Number one, make yourself hollow and empty. Sometimes it actually helps when you are a little empty. Perhaps a lot of you have gone through this. When you do not know anything about the topic, that is the time you have more patience. That is the time you listen very carefully and you appreciate the person better. You listen better. Number two, look at the speaker while communicating. It shows that you are interested. And always keep your expressions open to let them know that you are engaged. Number three, do not start speaking immediately after the speaker stops. It is possible that the speaker has some more to say. So wait for a while, give it some time, then share your opinion. Number four, do not respond by saying that I too have the same experience and start saying your stories. In this way, you counter them by making them a listener, while all they wanted is you to listen. And this is a poor communication. 
So let the speaker finish before you start. Number five, ask a precise query regarding a particular point. This shows that you listened to the entire conversation. Well done. Number six, listen with your heart and mind. Consider the subject from the speaker's point of view. And by this way, you will make yourself a great listener. That's all. Once you are done with these checkpoints, you are ready to give your opinion. And I'm sure that you will have a pleasant conversation with everyone, no matter where you go, which language you choose. You have made it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this. And if this video helps you, let me know in the comments below, share with your friends and I will see you in the next video.